Okay. Yes. Yeah, cool. so like, you would. You you would, you, you were just saying. Like share screen on again. Yeah, you were just saying that uh, since 2022, uh, certain things happened. 2023 was a write-off, and that many different things are coming together. You were talking about the trifecta. Yeah, I, uh, I, I mean, that's right. I, we're more or less. <laughs> We're kind of teleporting into several different places at the same time. It's, it's a bizarre feeling. But like the crime of 1875, demonetization of silver in America, the Great Panic of 1898, the Wall Street crash 1929, the politics of the 1930s, um, the... Uh, uh, I was looking at H.G. Wells's book, The New World Order, which came out of that that sort of time. Um, it, it's all all very, very. Um, it's it. There are so many parallels to different times in history. You know, they say history doesn't repeat, but it does rhyme. OK, mm. well, this is almost like um, it, history is doing an acapella. Um, or, or a barbershop quartet, and we're at four simultaneous, th you know, uh, um, um, and, 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 and this, the, the, the harmony or disharmony, the harmonics between these parallel historical um, uh, historical Well, I guess they're sort of archetypes, really. Um, and what you would define certain periods of history as, what you sort of take the essence of it, right? The essence of all of it is like Lord Atkins quote, you know, sooner or later, it's going to boil down to the people versus the banks. And we're there. Um, to, yeah, I mean, it, it really is quite an interesting... Um, in interesting time now i'm just trying to get this up here so that i've got the um i had it here anyway look. so we talk was it when did we talk friday or saturday morning uh, there was a Saturday morning when you said that you were going to be watching the Eurovision thing, and I mentioned uh, ABBA right. winning it 50 years ago. Yeah, I, I you wasn't it very well, so in the end, I didn't actually go out Saturday night. I did work on, um, you know, what I'd been working on all day after our talk, and I worked on it all day Sunday, and I've been working again this morning. But this is, this is the nutshell here. Tenacity, beating the Panopticon jailer bot cleaning up the unshittified mess that is the digital big tech realm, the going direct mind map. Now, if you remember, we finished off saying, well, it's rigged, but if it's rigged, what, what, why do anything? What are you going to do next? What do you do next? Well, this is the point I was just making. It reminds me very much at the moment, the beginning of 2022, when the Ukraine war broke out. And then people got used to that a bit. And there were, were a period of several months um, in, uh, in, in, in the second half of 2022 when there was more activity, right? Now, there are various reasons for that. One of them is that there's half of the wealth of, of, of the United Kingdom is tied up in housing wealth, okay? And that's people that own outright. So they don't necessarily have to be super wealthy. Obviously, they're well off. Um, uh, but the, the the simple fact is that um, the banks and what they're doing um, and the, this move to you own nothing, you'd be happy. Uh, home ownership is a massive barrier in the way at the moment. OK, um, so, for instance, uh, the um, actual lending uh, for mortgage equity withdrawal all dried up towards the end of 2023, 2024, right? Now, that's quite significant because they're obviously trying to kill the liquidity in the economy and actually save the the bargains for themselves. This this is the, the whole process of, of consolidation and what have you. Well, the point is that people cotton on 
um, to uh, eventually, eventually the the con, whilst it might not be explicitly understood, uh, people feel it in their gut and act instinctively against that which try that is trying to do them down, trying to pull a fast one on them. If that makes sense. Um, and I think we're at that now. So coming into the spring, I'm expecting um, people that want to do business, that want to get on and do something, they find each other and start organising. And what I call the Panopticon jailer bot, the filters from Google and the other tech monopolists or the oligopoly the tech oligopoly um those filters stop working now i've got a really good example of what those filters are and how they work because in 2011 i actually made a document of links um and uh it actually it's the links on an awakening from 2010 okay so i i, I moved to sweden in april 2010 i wrote a song uh, called Let Them Eat Cake in May 2011. And this list is around about that time. I put it on my blog. And what it is, can, I, can you see it on the screen, is this whole list of links, okay, um, most of which uh -huh. don't work anymore. And funnily enough, in those days, I, I was involved in lots of discussions on Facebook, okay, uh, because this is before the really big internet crackdown in terms of what people could and couldn't say on the internet. Most of these links don't work anymore, but the links I put in here have to go through Facebook. Now, I did the first five or six to check them, and then I had to log back into Facebook. I, I, I haven't got a Facebook account anymore, so I can't do that, and I don't want to do it because I don't want Facebook. Um, I had to go back into a Twitter account the other day to get hold of um, a thread um you know thread reader app for some because when you use yeah, your information yeah. on these platforms okay basically it gets in they, they 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 stop you getting at it it's the track it's the same with WordPress blogs as well if you want to go away from wordpress right or you if you want to go from a paid word subscription wordpress to, to one that's paid you cannot keep your, your what you've evolved into going Right, it's in shittify. They hold you to ransom, right? And, and so this document with these links is, is an absolute case in point. Um, not all of them have stopped working. For instance, an article by John George Montbier on the on Guardian still works. Um, but I mean, uh, a lot of it may be the YouTube ones. Almost certainly, most YouTube videos I've ever linked to more than five or six years ago the accounts have been suspended they no longer exist the content's been withdrawn or whatever um, my my youtube account i made it anonymous one of your commenters on financial eyes mentioned oh what's happened to roger is he shadow banned well of course I'm, i've been shadow banned for donkey's years but the point is that what i did is i made mo most of my videos in fact all of them at one point private right which then sort of takes them out of circulation. Then when you make them public again, it, it basically puts them all out there. So I basically made everything I've made private public again. And that, I think I got one community strike for, for one. I, I got a double, you know. <laughs> but I mean, most of my stuff I, isn't controversial, but it is. it does challenge these narratives. And you're not allowed to challenge, challenge the narrative. But I in real life gets round that. And so the way around in shitification is to employ the internet as a tool. So the mind map is a tool, but as Cory Doctorow says, um, the different, the problem isn't intermediaries. The problem in other words, isn't intermediation, it's power. The thing that distinguishes a useful intermediary from an shitified bully is power. Intermediaries gain power when our governments stop enforcing competition law. 
This lets intermediaries buy each other up and corner markets. Once they form cosy cartels, they can capture their regulators and commit rampant labor privacy and consumer violations with impunity. That capture also lets them harness governments to punish smaller players that want to free workers, creators, audiences and customers from wall gardens. It also hands them a whip hand over their workers so that any worker who refuses to aid in these nefarious plans can be easily fired. Well, th that's Cory Doctorow, nail on head. Um, and, and you, you know, you asked me what I've been doing on, on, on Saturday morning. Well, this is what I've been doing. Um, and I, I've dug back right, right to the very beginning of this stuff for me. My presence on the Internet goes all the way back to 1994. The, my first business website was, was done in 1994, 95. Um, and it's available on the Wayback Machine. There's sort of various corporate videos that are still there as well. Um, a lot of my blogging in 22 and 23, 23 was pretty quiet. Um, I, uh, those are on the way back machine. They're, they're on a thumb drive that I've got. I've got various copies of everything um, on hard disks around the place and what have you, right? To avoid that problem of these links not working. And that's Room 101 in operation. And that is the inshittification of the internet personified. Here's another one. You can see this. This is my old MySpace account, which I started about 2007. Um, I remember when Friends Reunited came out. Now, so as, as early as the early 2000s, Friends Reunited was a thing. I went to a school reunion with my ex-wife back in 2002. It was at Butlins in... Um, Oh, down in the Somerset, Somerset. Um, not not Western Supermare, but the one just just down from there. Um, uh, but anyway, um, Murdoch bought MySpace. It no longer exists now. It was kind of an artistic community and all the rest of it. People, but for whatever reason, News International killed MySpace. I, I still don't really understand why because they paid a lot of money for it, what I thought was a lot of money. Um, so that's quite interesting. Then here's this one, Sturdy Blog. Now, uh, this this is Alex Andrew, the Labour activist, whatever. I expect he'll run to be an MP this year. What he, which was to, to who do we owe this money exactly, isn't on his blog anymore. I, I, I got it on the way back machine and put it on my blog. Um, but someone obviously had a word in his ear that said, no, you can't be having that stuff up there. Uh, and it's not going to go back up with Keir Starmer as leader of the Labour Party either, is it? Sorry, what was this What was this blog post about? Was it about the financial crisis? It, it, yeah, it was basically saying, well, what, what is this sovereign debt crisis? What, what is this thing saying that we've got to have austerity to pay this money back? What is uh -huh. money? Who do we owe the money to? Um, David did a blog um, with some uh, research, which if you net off all of the sovereign debts against each other, right, no one really owes any, anybody anything. It's, they're very small amounts, right? But when it's spun up with derivatives and then put on the people, if the people believe in, in, in these debts, and they're odious debts, a lot of them, okay, um, it's the belief in those debts that keep people uh, basically uh, enslaved. Um, so, so that's um, the tethered bull part of progress and poverty. Uh, uh, um, Henry Henry George. Anyway, so one of his this, this did, did did survive March 2011. Deutsche Bank was it overworked. Two guys waving money at a, at a protest. Um, protesting the, the coalition at the time. That's what that, that's that's what it is. That link has survived. Um, but yeah, as I say, um, uh, Okay, so, so so you were saying that you were going through a twenty ten no the twenty eleven realization uh, and the links are gone. You managed to find some, uh, and you're linking this so in just with in that, just that document, and, and yeah, um, and you're linking this I, in with the with the with the carbon dioxide uh, money system and surveillance. Yeah, everything is connected, Ranjan. Right? Yes. Um, 
even if it's connected, you know, the separation, all that, right? Um, and so, w what I'm saying is, uh, well, Henry Morley said it. Um, he, Henry Morley published an essay on man, okay? He, he was a publisher, right? And, uh, and, and Pope wrote the essay of man, or he, he, they weren't contemporaries, but Morley published a version of it. And, and he basically said, you know, if you can read Pope, you, you, you need to read it all and then decide, don't make your mind up beforehand. You know, let, let um, uh, and that's a really, that, that's what figuring this stuff out involves, okay? If you share a framework with someone else that may have a different framework, you see all of their framework and what their conclusion of that is, right? And take that as, as that, okay? And then you give your framework and they listen and take that as that. And then what you do is you then have a discussion and you'll end up improving each other's framework, right? But the enshittification of the internet is designed to stop that process taking place. But it's a natural process um, that happens amongst humans. And um, I've noticed that the time it takes um, to, for, for people to really get back together again um, and start a conversation shorter and shorter. Okay. Pogrom started the first in 2016 after Brexit and Trump. Okay, so and, well, it started after uh, after Occupy, really. But if, if, if Occupy was like um, a, a four years until 2016, when people got together again, right? Then 2016. To 1890, it was like two years. People started getting together, another crackdown. 2020, and the lockdowns all happened. Two years, people started getting together again, right? And it's, I, I, I think there's a curious sort of a halving of people getting their bearings back together again. And I, I put it down to the cooperators. Um, and, well, too much, you know, that's that is that um, there are enough people getting their uh, bearings back together uh, in larger lumps that people find each other quicker. You know, the, 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 the Panopticon jailer bot, its modus operandi is divide and rule, divide and conquer. You know, the rock thrown in the pond. So that's the Walter Burian stuff that I've been quoting. Um, so... You know, what I wrote in May 11, 2011, under this song that I wrote, Let Them Eat, Let Them Eat Cake, okay, it applies today. It just applies more, right? Um, and I sort of say, you know, um, so Saturday in Sweden in 2024, have things got better? No. It's the pro is the prognosis better? It is not. But it can be. You know, if we start using the internet as a tool, and actually get out in real life and organize. So when, again, another thing we finished up on on, on, on uh, Saturday morning, what are you going to do? Well, I'm going to go on to Wikiballot. <coughs> here it is here. I've been maintaining this for about, God knows how long now, six years, I think. Um, you might recognize this. This is your, your interview with Sam in the Hartley Bone Hartley pulled by election with Sam Lee. Wonderful. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so this is wiki tactile voting, and what I'm going to do, I'm going to do it live here now. Um, where are we? Find choose a constituency. I think I put it up here. Um, constituency page. Okay. Right, okay, let's just see. Find your MP, Miskin Plantricent.
Uh, hold on. Just turning off my VPN there. Labour MP for Pontypreed. Oh, okay, that's well, so cool. Your MP is he? called Alex Jones. Yeah, Alex Davies Jones. Uh, so that's that. Now I'm just going to go back here. Oh, right, we had hardly more here, so. That's the Hartlepool page that came up. I want to go. No, that's the wrong one. Uh, sorry about this, Ranger, and I didn't. Here we are, constituency primary pages. So, so right, how to claim a constituency, and I want to go to. Find there we are, Ponty Preed. It was Owen Smith. All oh, right, okay. So, so Ponty Preed has it. So I'm going to claim it. So what I do? Oops, that's not that. I copy that there. Copy, put it into here. Search. Oh, no, we've got a wiki ballot pick here for. Roger, I think I am probably. Anyway, going that's to what I'm, that, this is what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be doing this and building houses because what I wanted to do is say, look, um, it's all well and good knowing this stuff and complaining and sort of just going on about it. You, you're barking at the moon on the Internet, uh, you know, with news media about this stuff, because that's designed just to keep you doing that. Right. What what's important is to get involved. I think a constructive thing to do is to get involved at a local level ahead of the next election and actually return an honest House of Commons. Right. That's what we've got to do. Um, and uh, in terms of getting on with business and all the rest of it, uh, people need to get involved locally and do things locally um, and try and keep money within the local community and get people to invest in the local community and in things, including housing and all the rest of it. Now, I've designed Hematics, which at small scales can give people the skills local groups to build their own communities and all the rest of it. it's all explained on all the hematics and rld stuff i've obviously not done a great job of explaining that or getting it out there 
um, and I intend to, this the other thing, it, the going direct spring isn't going to be BlackRock's going direct. It's going to be the going direct of the people to the um, to the polity, to each other, and sort things out. So going direct in the sense of taking back control from BlackRock and putting BlackRock's going direct in the dustbin. That's what we need to do. So okay. Roger, I am going to head off for a little bit to do a little bit of breakfast and stuff like that, but I'll probably be around uh, not very, very far away from now this morning. So um, mm -hmm. if you're around again, great. If not, uh, we'll talk soon. But I'm going to be around in about half an hour or something like that. Mm -hmm. All right. You didn't go walkies. I did. Not f All right. Not far. Yeah, no, no, it's not far because I just went to the petrol station around the corner because I live, um, I live in a, you know, in a oh, place right. where there's, there's yeah. shops just down the road. I mean, like, you know, around the corner. Yeah. Okay. All right, mate. Good talking to you. Take care. Okay. Speak to you in a bit. Bye. Bye.